In episode 103, they had a challenging location which involved a tunnel that they needed vehicles to come in and out of. What we're doing right now is we're blocking off this whole section right here. We have NYPD coming in. We reserve the tunnel for 8 o'clock. We're going to have it till about 6 in the morning. And this is all going to be closed down. We're about to go into our uh, crime scene. to close down a tunnel is extremely demanding on the locations department. I do know that they had to look at a number of different locations and they settled on this tunnel near the UN on the east side of Manhattan. And it was an interesting challenge because we were shooting it at night and trying to make it look like day and we had never seen the location. We literally showed up sight unseen and had to create this massive set up in a matter of hours. By the time you get all the stuff in here and all the lights and everything, you have very little time to actually shoot and we have to shoot three scenes in here. On a feature, we'd have a week and here we have eight or nine hours to do it. So we're down here trying to race against the clock to see if we can get it. It's horrible. They're like mosquitoes trapped in amber. We're in the Brooklyn Navy Yard and this is the end result of our bus scene. We have all of our forensics team and we have our actors who are here examining the bodies that have been pulled out of the bus. So these poor folks are being gooed up with all this gooey material and we're showing them as the victims of the crash. We got this ultra ice material we're using to try to encase these people in jelly or ice, however we're calling it right now. And it's just basically a thick gelatinous clear material that simulates ice.